lesson for today is all about verbs. What is a verb? A verb is one of the main parts of a sentence or question in English. A verb signals an action, an occurrence, or a state of being. Whether mental, physical, or mechanical, verbs always express activity. You can't have a sentence or a question without a verb. So these are the examples. Ask, clean, come or coming, cook, cry, dance or dancing, drink, eat, go, laugh, listen, play, run, running, sleep, swim, swimming, sing, talk, Think, walk, wash, watch, work, write, or writing. Okay, we can have the verb song. You can sing this song to the tune of Ants Go Marching. I hope I can sing it properly. Okay, <laughs> the verb song. A verb can make your body move. Hurrah, hurrah. It tells what boys and girls can do. Hurrah. Hurrah! We jump, we spin, we roll, we fall. It's action verbs that move us on. If you need an action, verbs are the words. Have you heard? I hope I have justified the song. <laughs> okay. We have groups of verbs. The first group is physical verbs. These are action verbs. They describe specific physical actions which you can see somebody doing. If you can create a motion with your body or use a tool to complete an action, the word you use to describe it is most likely a physical verb. So we have an example. Let's run to the corner and back. The word run describes what they are doing or what the children are doing. I hear the train coming. So the word here is the verb that we can describe to the girl. The second group is mental verbs. These are related to concepts such as discovering understanding, thinking, or planning. These are the things you cannot see somebody doing. And this refers to a cognitive state. This includes A. Abstract verbs. Okay, what can you see? There is a baby and there are puppies there. Abstract verbs are verb to be, to want, to cause, to seem, to need, to care, to, con to contain, to owe, to exist, etc., etc. And these are only examples. The second uh, group of mental verbs is the possession verbs. Okay, what can you see in the picture? There is a boy and there is a puppy again. So the example for possession verbs are to possess to own, to belong, and many, many more. The third group of mental verbs is the emotion verbs. What can you see in the picture? There is a mother and there is there are children. So example for emotion verbs, to like, to love, to hate, to dislike, to fear, to envy, to envy or to mine, etc., etc. Maybe the picture um, displays the emotion verbs to love. The third group is states of being verbs. These describe conditions or situations that exist. These are also known as linking verbs. These are inactive since no action is being performed. These verbs have more than one meaning. 
Each meaning is a unique verb. Some meanings behave like non-continuous verbs, while other meanings behave like normal verbs. So they, this includes or include to hear, to have, to appear, to look, to miss, hmm, to smell, to see. To taste, to think, to weigh, and is being. We have the types of verbs. The first type is action verbs. These are words that expresses action. And these are further subdivided into A, transitive verbs. These are verbs that used with a direct object. A direct object is the person or thing that receives the action of the subject. So, example, Gina brings Mrs. Reyes lunch every day. Which one is a direct object? Or which word of this example is a direct object? The second action verb is intransitive verbs. These do not need a direct object. These are usually followed by an adjective, adverb, preposition, or verb complement or gerund or infinitive. So we have an example. What can you see? There's a ball. The ball rolled. Okay, so no uh, receiver of the action. The second is auxiliary or helping verbs. These are used together with a main verb to show the verb's tense or to form a negative or question. These are most common uh, these are the most common auxiliary verbs. We have have, be and do and we already have a lessons of verb to have, verb to be and verb to do. These auxiliary verbs add functional or grammatical meaning to the clauses in which they appear. And these also perform their function in several different ways. Like for example, by expressing tense or providing a time reference. Example, past, present, or future tense. Uh, this also functions uh, grammatical as grammatical aspect. This expresses how verb relates to the flow of time. And the third one or the third function of auxiliary verb is for modality. It quantifies verbs. And there is also the voice of uh, auxiliary or helping verbs. This describes the relationship between the action expressed by the verb and the participants identified by the verb subject or object or etc. And this also functions as adi uh, adding emphasis to a sentence. So, for example, does Sam write all his own reports? Okay. So, we have the third group, stated verbs. These are verbs that express a state rather than an action. These relate to thoughts, emotions, relationship, senses, states of being, and measurements. These that not usually used with ing in progressive or continuous tenses. And they only use simple tenses. Like for example this one. Our client appreciated all the work we did for him. The word appreciated is in past tense. The fourth is modal and modal phrases or semi-modals. These are used to express ability, possibility, permission, or obligation. Modal phrases or semi-modals are used to express the same things as modals but are a combination of auxiliary verbs and the preposition to. 
models and semi models in English are number one, can, could, be able to, number two, may or might, number three, shall and should, four, must or have to, and the fifth is will or would. Okay, example. When I was a child, I could climb trees. So there is the word good, which is a modal verb. We will be expounding this lesson on the next lesson. So I will be making modal verbs as the next lesson. Five is phrasal verbs. These are a combination of words. A verb plus a preposition or verb plus adverb that when used together usually take on a different meaning to that of the original verb example it's time to get on the plane so as you can see get is a verb and then we have the preposition on so this is phrasal verbs the next is the irregular verbs. They don't take on the regular plus D plus ED or plus IED, spelling patterns of the past simple verb 2 or past participle verb 3. Many of the irregular verb 2 and verb 3 forms are the same, such as cut, cut, had, had, let, let, hurt, hurt, fed, fed, sold, sold. These are also known as strong verbs. And these are most commonly used. So we have like, for example, go, get, say, see, think, make, take, come, know. Okay, what can you see in the picture? There is a boy and there is a sandcastle. So what could be the sentence? I want to build a sandcastle like the one we built last year. If you can notice, the first uh, verb, build, is a regular verb. And the second one is the irregular verb because D in the first verb is uh, substituted with letter T in the second verb. The spelling is different. So this one is what you call irregular verbs. We will further expound on this topic next lessons. We also have affixes. Affixes signify that a word is a verb. So we have prefixes. Be, like bestow. Be, like dethrone. Encourage. Okay, what can you see? There's a baby with a crown. So the baby is bestowed with a crown. And then we also have suffix, suffixes. I-F-Y for the word typify. I-Z-E for the word characterize. A-T-E for the word irrigate. E-N for the word sweeten. And you can also add S. to uh, This one creates third person singular in the present tense. Like for example, he talks. And then you can also add ING. This creates the present participle. And this uses uh, with B. So for example, he is talking. There is a verb to be is. Plus ING of the word talk. So the verb becomes talking, is talking. ED, this creates the simple past. So, for example, he talk. So, the verb talk uh, has a suffix of ED. EN, this creates the past participle, and these are usually used with have. So, for example, he has talked. So, has, verb to have, plus talk, which is a past participle of the, of the verb talk. Okay, let us test your 
learning. Select the best answer. Number one, that perfume smells nice. Okay, which is the verb? Is the verb transitive or intransitive? Number two, what blank the kids doing when you saw left when you saw when you last saw them? I'm sorry. So you can select from was, where, are, did, and been. You can select from the words in the parentheses inside the parentheses. Number three, Carla Blank always wanted to try skydiving. Number four, where Blank you go on summer vacation. Number five, why do you think she Blank called you like she said she would? The words that you can select are didn't, is, hasn't, has, been. Or hat. And then sixth, Mary Blanc going to the to be upset when she hears what happened. So you will select from will, don't, is, didn't, and has. Number seven, Jeremy Blanc want to go to the movies. He wants to stay home instead. So you can select from doesn't, isn't, wasn't. Hasn't, was not. Eight. I appreciate his jokes. They weren't funny. Okay. We select from did, have, been, didn't, haven't. Number nine. I really like fish, but I blank care for meat. The words to select were weren't. Been, don't, is, and was. The tenth item is where blank you going when I saw you last night. So you select from where, was, is, do, and did. Number eleven. You blank more shoes than anyone else I know. Number twelve. Jim blank dessert. Every day. So you select from has, eats, possesses. Number 13. Jesse intentionally blank gum in Jeff's hair. Stick, stuck, sticky. 14. Let's blank a hike on Saturday. So you select from take, took, taken. 15. The water balloon blank when it hit its target. So you select from burst, busted, broken. 16. I just can't seem to blank this book. Get off or get into it. 17. It's important to blank on time. Show up or show off. 18. If you are sick, you blank go to work. You'll infect everyone there. So select from shouldn't, must, needn't. 19. Drivers blank stop at red lights. Would, must, or shall. The last number. You blank finish the proposal today. You can finish it tomorrow. So you select from the words shouldn't, don't have to, can't. Okay? Have you answered? Now let us evaluate your answer. This is number one, intransitive. The verb is intransitive. Number two, where. Number three, has. Number four, did. Number five, didn't. Six, is. Seven, doesn't. Eight, didn't. Nine, don't. Ten, where. Eleven, have. Twelve, has. Thirteen, stuck. 
fourteen, take, fifteen, burst, sixteen, get into, seventeen, show up, eighteen, shouldn't, nineteen, must, and twenty, don't have. Okay, what is your score? I hope you have learned from me in these lessons. Thank you again. This is Hermilia B. Gratuito. See you.